Hi guys, welcome back to Besame. I have a very exciting story for you today and I also have a surprise at the end of the video. So please stick around because I will be revealing that at the end of the story. <laughs> Androcles and the Lion. There once lived a slave whose name was Androcles. His Roman master was very cruel and often beat him with a big stick. At last, the poor slave could stand it no longer and he made up his mind to run away. I will leave this dreadful place and go away into the country, he said to himself. There I will be free and my cruel master will not be able to find me. Androcles knew that he would need to be very careful. If the soldiers caught him trying to escape, they would put him in prison. The slave waited until it was dark and then slipped quietly out of the house. He made his way very carefully out of the town without being seen by any of the soldiers. When he reached the country, Androcles ran as fast as he could. On and on he went until he came to a large forest. The slave walked for many hours through the woods. His clothes were torn by the thorny branches of the trees, and he was very hungry. Suddenly, he saw a large cave in the side of a hill. What a good hiding place, he cried. No one will find me here. Androcles entered the cave and soon found a cozy spot to rest. He was so tired and weary that in a few minutes, he was fast asleep. The runaway slave had not slept very long when he was wakened by a loud roar. There at the mouth of the cave and coming towards him was a huge lion. To his surprise, the beast did not spring at him, but limped slowly to his side. The animal held up one of its front paws and moaned sadly as if it was in need of help. Very bravely, Androcles took hold of the paw and looked at it. At once, he saw the cause of all the trouble. A large, sharp thorn had stuck in the animal's foot, and the creature was suffering great pain. As gently as he could, the slave pulled out the thorn. When the thorn was out, the lion was very pleased. The animal wagged its tail, purred like a big cat, and licked the hands of the man who had been so kind. For three years, Androcles and the lion shared the same home. Every day, the great beast went out hunting and brought him back food. At night, the runaway slave slept in a cozy bed at the back of the cave. The lion lay near the mouth of the cave so that Androcles would come to no harm. One day, Androcles was walking in the forest when he was captured by some Roman soldiers who were hunting wild animals. Alas, they told him that he would be put to death and that he would be torn to pieces by a lion. On the day that he was to die, many people went to the great circus to watch the terrible sight. The emperor was there and he was seated on a high throne. When all was ready, Androcles was left alone in the middle of the circus. Soon, a loud roar was heard as a huge, hungry lion was let loose. The animal with red, angry eyes and wide open jaws bounded swiftly towards the lonely slave in the middle of the circus. Everyone expected it to spring upon the man and crush him with a mighty blow from its paw. Suddenly, when only a few feet away from poor Androcles, it stopped and sniffed the air. The people were silent. They had never seen anything like this before. The lion went slowly forward, wagged its tail, and rubbed its head against him, just like a pet cat at home. Androcles knew at once that it was his old friend who had lived with him in the cave. The people were amazed at the strange sight, and the emperor sent for Androcles. When the slave told him the wonderful story, the king was so pleased that he set him free and gave him the lion as a present. For many years, Androcles kept the lion as a pet, 
and they were always together. Everyone knew their story and smiled or waved as they passed. The lion followed his master everywhere he went, and at night, the faithful animal slept outside his door. The end. Now, for the surprise. -na 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 -na. Based on some suggestions from several people in the comments, I realized that there was a certain book that people would have liked me to read from, which is what I read from today. And that book is called Alibaba and the 40 Thieves and Other Stories. <laughs> so I have this book now. I bought it. I found it in a bookstore in London. I'm going to read the contents list and I would like you to suggest what story you would like to hear next. Of course, I know you're going to all want to say Alibaba and the 40 Thieves, but that's toward the end of the book. So you can tell me about the other stories. Okay, here we go. The king and the goose herd, the hedgehog and the hare, the princess and the shepherd, a strange treasure, a Nancy in Jamaica, a kind hearted boy. A clever trick. The golden touch. Br'er Rabbit goes fishing. The story of a river. Rumpel stilt skin. A hot land. Pinocchio the puppet. An unseen foe. The shepherd. The wonderful ant. The wooden horse of Troy. A Nancy and the fairies. So, please remember leave a comment below which one you would like to hear and based on those recommendations i'll read them in that order okay i hope you liked today's story androcles and the lion and i hope you will share it with your friends click the thumbs up if you liked to the video and also please hit the word subscribe if you have not yet done so make sure it changes color from red to gray when it's gray it means you've subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.